welcome to the holiday vlog and good morning from absolutely roasting Spain. So I haven't actually officially started this vlog. I did take some clips from our travel day and then also our first day which was yesterday but I haven't actually spoke to you guys. I think a lot of the footage that I did get yesterday was just lots of palm trees. One thing that I love about being abroad is the palm trees. Like I just understand how we don't have them in Scotland because they are bloody lovely. So yeah I never vlogged over the last couple days just purely because we arrived in Spain super late on Tuesday night. Our flight was like 9 o'clock at night and then we didn't get in until 12. Passport control and everything was super easy. Our case was actually like the first to come off. And then we went to get our car and we had like a wee bit of an issue with the car but that was fine. And then we set off on our route to the villa which, how was that when we arrived when we were driving? So Chris is driving. Um, what side of the road do we drive on here? No. Right hand. Drive. We drive on the right hand side, I'm sitting on the left. Right, that's I keep getting confused. I'm a nightmare on my left and right. So basically it's back to front from what it is at home. And when we left the airport it was like pitch black. The only good thing was that there wasn't a lot of cars on the road. Um, but yeah, it was... I think your arms looked like they were strained on that steering wheel. <laughs> and also, both of our eyesight is not that brilliant when it's dark. So we didn't, we didn't My see, joking, uh, we, like, we couldn't really see like, the exits and stuff. But anyway, we made it one piece. Um, and yeah, we're staying at my grand and papa's house. Um, they've kindly lent us the house. I used to come here a lot when I was younger, but I haven't been for years. We were supposed to come last year, but obviously Spain wasn't on the list last year or something happened and our flights got canceled. So we went to Ibiza instead, but this year we thought we would come and make use of the house. So that is us here. We had some like bits and bobs through yesterday. You'll see we did a Vialdi run. So today is our first proper day and we're gonna go, well, we've got a couple of ideas of what we're doing. We've got a couple of reservations. We're here for two weeks, by the way. A couple of things booked in. At you might love to listen to that on like fifty max volume. Are we going to go into Marbella today and go to the beach there? But we've decided actually we're going to just go down. We need to get beach towels because we had a twenty kilo case between the two of us. So I was like, fuck the beach towels. We'll get them when we get there. That's kind of all our plan is. I'm hoping to get. Where do you want to go and sit? Will we walk down to that Olivia's bit and walk to that bit first? See those big beach uh, and uh, see how much they are. So yeah, as always, I'm going to vlog as much as I can this holiday. If it's too long, I might do it in two parts. If it's just a nice amount, I'll just keep it in one video. But yeah, I'm going to vlog as much as I can. And super excited. Also, this is the first vlog with the new teeth. If you notice know anything different, it's my teeth. Stop rambling and get to the beach because Chris's tan is going to be much darker than mine and it's out all day. So stay tuned to see what we get up to in the Spain vlog. not picked up the camera at all today because we have spent the full day at the villa. I'm saying the villa but actually I don't really know what to call the house. Um, it's a townhouse so it's not a villa, it's not an apartment. Um, yeah I think I've called it a couple of things throughout this video but I am just sitting down as it is a townhouse there's like lots of different kind of balconies or terraced bits out the back that all run together so I'm speaking a bit quiet in case um, anyone can hear me picked up this little blush in Aldi when we did our food shop. It was two forty nine. Like, you would never get away in that price back home. It was really nice and pale looking and I thought, you know what, get it. If it's horrible, won't buy it again. Um, and this is my last glass. Me and Chris have been having a wee glass every night since we got here and it's bloody delicious. So I'm actually just sitting out on the balcony to do my makeup. We're going to Max Beach tonight. So this is our first proper like, reservation night. Last couple nights, well the first night we obviously got here really late. And then um, yesterday, I feel like we've been down. It was yesterday our first day. I'm getting so confused with all the days. Yeah, haha. Uh -huh. So our first day was Wednesday. Um, and we just had our dinner in, in the apartment and then we ended up going down and just like walking about seeing the beach and stuff and then last night we spent all day at the beach like we didn't leave the beach um, it was a wee beach club called 
Delphine's Beach Club, I think it was called. I'm obviously going to put in um, everywhere we go. You'll see it on the screen. Because I personally love when I watch videos and people actually tell you where they go rather than just like going places. So yeah, I will reference everywhere that we've been. But yeah, we didn't leave the beach club yesterday until like six-ish. Came home, had um, some dinner and then again we just went down and it's so busy down in the like little town down there. So yeah, it's like a five minute walk. Um, but we do have such a big hill to climb at the end. That's what we keep laughing at. It's like honestly like this. This is our first night that we've got a reservation so I actually spent the afternoon ironing all of our bits and bobs that um, we've got fully unpacked um, and yeah we're just now getting ready to go. Well, Chris is just chilling and I am getting ready um, to film a little reel of like my holiday makeup. I've already slicked my hair back, not washed my hair since I got here. I've also got a random patch of sunburn on my forehead and I've been trying so hard not to burn my face so I don't really know how that's happened. It's as if wherever my hat's been sitting, I'm not sure. So yeah, we had a full day of just sunbathing on the terrace today. I did a little bit of work in the shade at some point and yeah, it was just bloody lovely. I'm so glad that we're here for two weeks and you can just take your time. I feel like sometimes on holiday you end up like rushing for reservations and stuff, but it's Friday today and we're going to Max Beach and I'm so excited to go here. So yeah, it looks amazing. All the pictures I've seen look amazing and the food looks really good. So I'm going to get ready for that. I'll maybe put you on a wee time lapse when I'm getting ready or I'll maybe actually just come back and show you once I'm ready. I'll decide in a minute. This is the finished look. I honestly get ready so, so fast now. Like, I brought no foundation with me because I don't actually wear foundation anymore. Um, like, day to day, I especially don't want to wear it on holiday because I feel like your foundation just never sits well, especially when you kind of start to get a tan on your face. So, yeah, this is the finished look. This is, I'll actually go and grab it. Got this lipstick on here, colour which is MAC. Neon orange, I actually picked it up in the airport a few years ago, and it's just such a cute little holiday colour. I wouldn't wear this back home, like, I think I wore it out to dinner not that long ago, but it's definitely fitting for a holiday. My hair is slicked back because I have not washed it um, since we got here, and I do probably won't. Well, I will at some point, but it's not probably going to be down at, at all, it's just so warm. I'm actually ready, like, so early because my makeup and my hair just doesn't take me that long anymore. So yeah, I am just going to sit, chill, finish my line and then Chris is going to get ready and then we will head to Max Beach. I've just done a little outfit of the day for TikTok. But how cute are these earrings? I got these for going to Cancun um, and they were from Shein. That was like, it was me and Chris's first holiday so that must have been like three, four years mm -hmm. ago. Um, but I feel like they work really cute with like this like bun and orange lip combo. My outfit is actually Boohoo. Um, and I've got my wee Primark sandals on that I got um, and yeah, that is us now ready to go to dinner I'm so excited to try this place so as always, I'll take you with us I haven't introduced you to the Fiat yet here we go in we go there's the designated driver
it's quite a bit later on today I don't think I actually picked up the camera do you know what I did try to pick up the camera but I am the sat nav lady at the minute so it's kind of hard for me to like chat and vlog um, when I'm trying to guide Chris so we went to Portobunus earlier today um, we went for a lovely little coffee on the marina sat there for ages just like it's such a nice place to go and just people watch so we did that we went into the Corte Inglés we did a wee bit of shopping and then we came back this afternoon and I've just chilled and it's been so bloody nice so tonight we're just going down into La Cala it's literally like not even a five minute walk and we're going to Olivia's for some dinner I actually passed it on I think it was like our second day um, I hadn't actually originally booked it because I wasn't sure if it was somewhere I wanted to go but I haven't seen it it looks gorgeous you look over the water I had to be look at the menu as well and it looks really yummy so excited to go there and I thought I would do a little outfit for you so you don't see the full length but I have this gorgeous lots of kisses jumpsuit on it kind of looks like a two-piece because it's like open in the middle and then it's got this little tie section in front and people are coming and I'm immersed I literally just darted inside there because people were walking like I'm literally our little gate out is literally there and yeah we're pretty much on our main road obviously everyone's walking there for dinner but yeah this jumpsuit is from Knots and Kisses and I was actually going to wear like chunky sliders but I, honestly I'm just living for the flat slider look but now like honestly I used to go on holiday and wear big high heels and be so uncomfortable and yeah I'm just enjoying wearing flats so I've got my little kind of Chloe inspired sliders on so I am going to go inside because I am sweating so hot and yeah I'll take you with us today morning it is Sunday and we have decided to go out for a little coffee this morning and um, we didn't end up out that late last night like we've been going to our bed I think last night we went to our bed like quarter to 12ish but we really enjoyed Olivia's they had um, two singers on I think there were a couple um, and honestly they were so good they were just singing like feel good songs and yeah it was like a really nice atmosphere I didn't really get anything exciting for my dinner I got like, a chicken Caesar salad um, it was nice but yeah to be honest we more went for like the atmosphere and that anyway and then um, we walked along the beach afterwards and then just walked back up the road and yeah it was another bloody lovely night we're honestly having just such a good holiday so far we're going to just stay at the house all day today and sunbathe on the terrace it's quite good to do that because you can just come in and out of the sun all day and Chris is just running away back into the house to get his trainers on so he can drive the car um, because he realised he couldn't drive any sliders and we're going to Luma Beach which is only 15 minutes from the house we're actually going to go for a full beach day but we've decided we're just going to go and have maybe like a wee croissant, a coffee, soak in the atmosphere and then head back and chill at the house all day. It's several hours later now. We have had another lovely relaxing day. Um, the beach club we went to, Luma Beach, honestly, I highly recommend. To be honest, if you're staying in Marbella, you could go there. Um, it was like 12 minutes for us and it probably be like the equivalent coming from Marbella. So we've actually booked to go back for dinner tomorrow night and then I think we're going to go back over the weekend as well because it's just a really nice place to sit 
and yeah enjoy like a nice coffee and stuff so we loved that and then our plans for tonight were just to have a really chilled night i wanted to go down and have a pizza on the beach at some point so that is exactly what we're doing tonight spent most of the day just chilling um, i put a hair mask in my hair earlier because it was needing that i haven't washed it since i got here and um, so i've just had a shower and washed it all out got a bit of sun today which i'm pleased about um, and yeah we've just kind of spent the day like going in and out off the terrace i finished my book as well which is the colleen hoover book um, ugly love honestly loved it 10 out of 10 it's just like one of those really good holiday reads it's like a romance i don't want to say too much because i don't want to ruin it for anybody if you want to go read it but highly recommend that book as well so i need to start my new book tomorrow but yeah we're just going to go down and get a pizza and take it on the beach and i'm so glad excited I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear me. Um, as you can probably tell, I am sitting by the beach. First off, dinner last night was probably the best dinner we've had since we got here. Honestly, I love Luma Beach so much. Like, I think I could go for my dinner there every night. I'm going to see it every day. I probably would. Um, the setting's just beautiful and the waves and everything last night. Like, honestly, I just love a really nice setting and like view. I'll just finish my wee chat while he's away getting these swim shorts on. So yeah, dinner last night was lovely and today we decided to come through. I wanted to go to the cappuccino. We went to cappuccino in Ibiza um, and I know there was one here as well. I believe there's one in New York 
Kirby. Yeah, we went there for some breakfast and we bought like our beach towels and stuff because we planned to just kind of chill on the beach today. But as we were walking to Cappuccino, uh, we noticed this little beach club and the sun loungers are only 10 euros. So we thought, let's just chill here all day. So this was just a way of getting some bits out of the car, getting our boots and stuff. Um, and yeah, now we are here and we're just going to stay here all day and hopefully catch a tan. So just trying to film this outside but it's so bright I cannot even see so I thought I would just chat to you quickly in here before I jump in and show you my outfit. Had another lovely day. We actually just chilled at the house all day today um, and then we went down and I had a little iced coffee and Chris had his usual double espresso, walked along the beach and then I had quite a bit of work to do today so I've just kind of been, I, sit, I didn't sit in the sun at all today, I just kind of sat in the shade, did my work. Um, and then I had an outfit to shoot, so we went and did that, and now I'm ready to go out. We are going to a new restaurant tonight called Bobinus, it is in Bobinus, and when we were actually through the other day, we passed by it, so I know exactly where it is, and once we'd seen it, I was like, that actually does look really nice, so I booked it, and we're going through tonight, so yeah, dinner at the port tonight, and then probably just a wee walk around afterwards. My hair is like curly suit, I did actually have it in a ponytail, but just my hair being down my back and this heat is just never fun so I have put it up into like a kind of little bun uh, but I'll quickly jump out and show you my outfit. A little jumpsuit um, on since I picked up the vlog camera. Um, we, what did we do? Yesterday, we actually went and got McDonald's yesterday, which was so nice, we decided to just have a wee night in. Yesterday, um, we've got our last two reservations tonight and tomorrow, it's Friday today, um, and I have quite a wee bit of things to do before I go home. Um, we're launching, well, we're launching Lala on Sunday, hopefully Sunday. Um, given that everything goes right. So I've had like a wee bit of kind of work to sit and do. So I have been just dipping in and out of the shade, um, try to get a wee bit of time, try to do a wee bit of work. And yeah, we went a lovely big walk yesterday, went a lovely one this morning. So yeah, we've just been really like, enjoying the last couple of days of our holiday. And tonight I'm so excited because we're going to Nido. So it's in Estepona, I think that's how you say it. Um, and I wanted to go during the day, it's a beach club, but then I also wanted to go at night, so I thought we'll go at night this time, see what it's like, and then we can maybe go for the day next time. So yeah, it looks absolutely beautiful in all the pictures I've seen, I'm super excited, and I'm really hungry as well, so yeah, I'm excited to go and get some nice dinner.
think my camera's about to charge, so I'm going to make this super quick. Again, another lovely day. Every single day we've had here has just been 10 out of 10. We've had such a good time. Tonight is our last like reservation night. It's Saturday night and we're going through to Punta Romano, which I think is in Marbella. And we're going to Nobu for dinner. This is actually Chris's choice. We went to Nobu in Ibiza last year. He bloody loved it. Like, he loves everything about it. So obviously there's one in Marbella. So we're going to go through and have that. And we thought that would be like our last kind of fancy dinner. Um, I've saved like my favourite outfit to last. Got the big hoops in. So that is our plan for tonight. Our dinner last night at Nido. If you ever come to this kind of part of Spain, then I definitely recommend that you take the journey through. It was like 40 minutes there and 40 minutes back and honestly worth every minute in the car because it was just amazing it's the most beautiful place I think I've ever had dinner and the food as well like we got um, tempura sushi which is my favourite kind of sushi and then we tried to order paella but they weren't doing paella because of the time of day the lovely lady that was serving us she recommended like it's called fake paella essentially and honestly I have never had a dish like this in my life it was just so tasty. So yeah, we both just had the loveliest night there. We had a beautiful table to sit at and yeah, we just kind of soaked it all in and watched the sunset and it was immaculate vibes. We loved every minute of it. So tonight is last dressy night and I love sushi so I'm very excited to go and I'm hoping this nobu is as good as all the other ones we've been to before. Just quickly try to show you my outfit. I'm not even sure because if you can see it because it's so bright out there but this gorgeous dress I'm wearing is from Meshki. I am vlogging on my phone this morning because my camera ran out of battery just before we headed out for dinner last night and I've just basically not put it on check. I don't know if you can tell but my voice is like disappearing. I've basically got like the air con cough like stuffed nose vibe going on which does tend to happen every time I go away. Kind of annoying but it actually sounds a lot worse than it is. Um, it clears up during the day and then it gets bad, worse at night time again. But, I mean we've actually got the aircon off and it still doesn't seem to be making a difference so yeah I do apologise for the croaky voice this morning but we are kind of last minute decided just to go to Luma Beach again if you can't already tell throughout this vlog we've been quite a few times I absolutely love it like I think it's one of my favourite places we've been since we got here they do the best kind of frappuccino iced coffee and they've got a lovely beach so I think we're going to go get a coffee and then go a walk along the beach this morning I spoke to mum this morning on FaceTime because it's her birthday um, and I'm missing it, which if you obviously watch my videos, you know I'm like super close to my mum. So I'm really gutted to be missing her birthday, but I'm going to take her out for lunch when we get back. And I FaceTimed her so she could open her presents this morning. But she's got a lovely day planned with my brother, his girlfriend and my nana. So I don't feel as bad. So I had this morning, now we've decided to go to Little Beach and we're going to come back. And I have the lava lunch this afternoon, so hope that all goes well.
And that is us now home from an amazing two weeks on holiday. Voice is extremely croaky, please excuse it. I do tend to get this when I've had air conditioning on. Um, and obviously we were away for two weeks there and we had air con on a lot. So, so yeah, it's definitely showed in my voice. But I just wanted to jump on and end this video as I didn't get a chance yesterday when we were travelling home. Honestly, we had the best time away. Like, it was just so relaxing, fun and yeah, just everything that I wanted from the holiday and more. And hopefully we get to go back next year. So I do think this vlog might be a wee bit of a longer one. So if you've made it to the end, thank you so, so much for watching. Another little thing, this is our first day back and we're just having like a cosy, chill day today. And I wanted to just put on something super comfortable. So of course I went and got my new Lala sweatshirt and jogger set on. This little set is actually now available to shop on our brand new website, which launched while I was doing holiday. Honestly, I just love the website so much and the whole like feel for the brand going forward and everything that's coming for autumn winter. I'm also so excited for autumn winter now, like holidays over, get me all of the coziness, all of the autumn content is coming your way really soon. And um, yeah, I'm going to be back in the swing of things, probably a little chill over the weekend and then we'll be back to bringing you lots of good content from Monday. So yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching another video by me. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in another one really soon.